So hello, my name is Andrew Bromfield. I'm from Formative Innovations and I uh, just put together this quick little video to highlight the differences between Apple's iPhone and Nokia, Nokia's Lumia 920. Uh, one is running the iOS, which is obviously Apple, and then uh, the Nokia is running Microsoft's Windows Phone 8. Uh, it just came out. We actually got this uh, on October 31st, one of the limited editions that came out through Rogers. Um, so we've had a week to play around with it. Uh, formerly I was an iPhone user, um, had the 4G, and uh, so this is my first uh, switch or, or foray into Windows Phone 8, and um, you know, a week later I'm, I'm incredibly impressed um, at its functionality over the, the iOS. The iOS feels and seems quite archaic now. Um, so with that, I'll just go through the main differences um, quickly. Um, the first major difference is that the iPhone here, just like the Android, is application based, is app centric, which means whatever you do is in the contents of an app. You launch an app and you work within that app. So if it's Facebook, you post an update to Facebook, you view video, uh, photos um, that uh, originate in Facebook. Now, Microsoft's approach is more user centric. So what that means is that basically the task that uh, you, know, you choose to do, whether it's posting an update or posting a photo, it, the, the emphasis is on the task. And, um, and it will actually give you the options of where you want to put that photo. But the key difference is you're not working in, in uh, a specified app, you're working on a task. And then it lets you um, execute that task among many different uh, applications or services, in this case, the social media services. So quick way to show that is uh, if I click on the Me tile, again, icons on the iPhone, live tiles over here on Windows. These uh, tiles move, they flip, they send you or show you information as information comes in. Um, so they are living and breathing. Uh, so here on my calendar, I can see that there's an SBLA agreement payment that uh, is due tomorrow um, and whatnot. So here we go. I'll click on the Me tile. So from this tile, you can see that I can share uh, an update. I'll just move the iPhone out of here for a second. So I can share an update. I can post an update um, to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter because these are the three social media accounts that I have configured on this phone. Um, I can click on here and take off some of the accounts and just, for example, post to Facebook. Or I can leave on all three and my message will go to all three at the same time. So again, this operating system is completely written uh, with productivity in mind and the less amount of steps or the least amount of steps possible to execute a task. Just press back here. So next thing I can do from this screen is look at my notifications. So I see that um, you know I've have some people contacting me or have mentioned me or replied to tweets on Twitter. Uh, nothing on Facebook really. Uh, just Twitter right here. I can slide over and see what's new. And on what's new, I can see um, the latest postings on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Again, it's. It's, it's streamed in, it's all brought into this one view, so I don't have to click on Twitter individually, click on Facebook individually, and click on LinkedIn. It's all right here. Um, so again, sharing, we've already gone through that. So what I'll do now is hit the Start button and go back. Um, so an email has come in from Big and Tall. Um, I can read it, a preview here, I can click and go into my email app. Um, but right now, we're gonna go into Photos. So if I click on Photos, and well, right now we're on the What's New uh, page. So on What's New, this is bringing in the photos um, that are actually uh, associated with my social media accounts and my friends on Facebook, my followers on Twitter, uh, or the people that I'm following. Um, you know, I can see their images directly within this Photos application along with my own albums. So if I flick over here, you know, I can do the camera roll, I can do my albums, which is uh, photos that I've loaded on. But again, going back to What's New, I can actually see all the images coming into Facebook and whatnot without leaving uh, the application. So this is a picture of my daughter that my wife posted. I can see all the comments here. Just like if I was on, if I was on Facebook, I could also add a comment, again, without launching a separate Facebook app. So when people say, oh, there's not a lot of apps, there's not an app for Facebook on the Windows phone, um, it's kind of irrelevant because you don't really need that many apps um, you know, when using this phone. So if I come back to the start screen, again, 
I can go into people. So People Hub, again, pulls in all the people from your different social networks and whatnot, um, such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. If I click on my wife here, um, I can text, uh, message her or chat on Messenger or Facebook or just a SMS text. I can select that. Um, I can write on the wall directly from here or do a mention on Twitter. Um, so again, I don't have to go anywhere else. Uh, I can see um, information like the birth date, job title, and whatnot from LinkedIn, Facebook, and whatnot. Now, if you do want those apps, I don't think there's a Facebook one right now, but there's Twitter. And with the Twitter app, again, it's so easy to use. I just flick us to the mentions, Flick again to messages. I don't have any list defined, and I'm back at the timeline, right? The other thing you'll notice is that this operating system is incredibly fast. You can do things so quickly in this; it just flies. I've never seen a you know lag or hang up. Um, same thing. I can go back into, uh, or I can go into LinkedIn, see my updates, see my groups, go into them, see postings, discussions. Uh, that's my profile there. And again, um, back to updates. You also notice that the apps on the Windows Phone actually look really good. Um, you know, they, they've they've got full uh, creative control when it comes to uh, how it looks. So they're very image rich. Um, you can see again in my live tile here that someone's just following me on Twitter. Uh, again, don't have to do anything. So another criticism was that it doesn't have a notification center. Well, every tile is a notification center. So again, just as another example, if I look at the weather network, um, you'll see how graphically rich these apps really are. And again, just hourly forecasts, short-term forecasts, long-term forecasts, very easy to navigate. Coming back to the home screen, um, you know, one other thing, you have the full version of Microsoft Office on this phone. So that's everything, including OneNote Word, if I wanted to look at one of the sample um, presentations here, so if I had my real PowerPoint, I could actually edit it right here. This will show you what it looks like with the transitions, so you can really practice your presentation the exact way that it will appear um, you know, when you get to your destination or in front of a thousand people. Coming back to the start screen, um, one other thing that I'll, I'll, I'll go through is that switching from the iPhone over to the Windows Phone, I, I couldn't understand why in Windows Phone 8 there's this back button and a dedicated button for that. But actually, it makes things so easy. So say I go into my settings and I go into theme and I change the color to say green and I want to see what that looks like. On the iPhone, I'd have to go back to settings and navigate back through. Here, I just hit back and I'm right back to where I last was and I can set it back to the color of my choice. And that goes for anything. As you use this operating system, your back just gets you back to your last action, and it really does um, make a difference from a productivity standpoint. So again, these are some new features uh, or key features of, of Windows Phone 8. Um, and like I said, the user experience is far different from the iPhone, far better in my opinion. And uh, as one last note, you know, here at Formative Innovations, we're keen and, and, and eager to develop applications for this platform. We have the skill set to do so. So if it's something that you're interested in, um, you know, you can give us a call or you can navigate to our website at www.formative.ca. And uh, the information is below as well in this video. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much.